welcome to another episode of Talks with KG. And you see this episode, this episode is an extremely special one. We here with the man of the moment. A lot of controversy, so now we go and get to the bottom of a lot of the he says, she says. Have a special guest, Christmasless. Thank you. Yeah. Well, I go on, my brother. Yes, my friend. Nice to see you again. Everything good? Man, I'm I'm enjoying life. Yeah, yeah, yes, yeah. Life is good. Oh, you're enjoying Trinidad? I love it. Man. I tell people the moment I stop enjoying it, you'll see I'll be on the first flight. They're going. Right, I'm here because yeah, I, yeah, yeah, I yeah. enjoy myself. Yeah, man. So right now, as I say, you are the man of the moment. Yeah. You know, Christmas came down to Trinidad, and if you didn't know him before, as a Trinidadian, you definitely know him now. You know, um, he been putting out this content on YouTube going into you know the inner cities of Trinidad and Tobago going into places that a lot of people who even live in Trinidad never see before you know and it kind of stir up a lot of conversation in the island yes, right for sure but before we get into that though I want to know your backstory you know yeah. um, where Christmas coming from <laughs> Well, I'm from Toronto, Canada, born in, and raised in Toronto. Uh, I've been a world traveler my whole life. Mm -hmm. So my first real trip, I can think way back to like 1999. One of my friends was Jamaican living in Toronto. He's like, Chris, I'm going to go move back to Jamaica for a year. Come with me. Right. And I had a job at a warehouse at the time. I'm like, this is the perfect opportunity. So in 1999, I, I moved with him to Jamaica. Mm -hmm. um, I've been traveling my whole life. YouTube is very new for me, about three years now. Um, my, my mission has always been to see every country in the world. And growing up as a child, um, my dream was to be a war photographer. A war like, photographer. Not video, film. Like back then there was no digital cameras. So right. I always had a film camera. So prior to doing what I'm doing right now with a, a YouTube and a, a video camera, a lot of people say I'm doing it for views. But, but what is a war photographer? Like going to war. Like literally in the wars? Going to war with a camera, taking photos of You wanted war. to be that as, as a, a child. child, yeah. Really? Yeah, yeah. And I did it. I've, I've gone to wars without a video camera, with a still film camera. And take pictures. And take pictures. So for, for the people that don't know me, they classify me as like, hey, he's just trying to get views. So, so, I, so you, as a, you as a young man yes. coming up in your life, right? Yeah. You were always intrigued by danger? Like, See, to me, I don't consider it danger. I, I'm intrigued by people and to right. find people that haven't spoken on camera before. No, but you said like you Sometimes wanted to be... Sometimes you to dangerous neighborhoods. No, but you, no, but you said you wanted to be a war photographer. Right. Right? Yeah. But what, what evoked that passion to want to do that? Like, yeah, were, you, were you fearless as a young man or... I don't know. I, like, again, I don't, I don't consider it yeah. dangerous. I'm not there with a gun shooting at people. Right. I'm filming and, or documenting what's happening. Mm -hmm. I've always been into history, but I've, I've never been good at reading books. Right. And the documentaries, have you watched like a World War II documentary? It's mm -hmm. actually, you, you can learn a lot from it, but it's quite boring. Right. Right. So I just, the way I learn best is by getting out and doing it. Mm -hmm. So, for example, I went to Palestine for the first time 10 years ago. People said, you know, what the conflict between Israel and Palestine, and I'm hearing every side. I'm like, I need to go there and right. I need to experience it. Mm -hmm. um, did I think I was going into danger's way? Not really. So you were always intrigued by war yeah, then? Yeah. Like the whole concept of what was war and what caused wars and... 100%. People right. don't get it around me. Like, for example, if a house is burning there, yeah. everybody's running away, I'm going to run to the building. going to run. Yeah. yeah. To, to the... Yeah. To the... Yeah. That's my yeah. personality. Yeah. I get my adrenaline uh, rushes. So I used to go to protests, like violent protests in Canada, mm -hmm. where, you know, there'd be pepper spray and, and shootings and, and everybody would stay home and I'd be the one there. Right. No camera. Right. I just participating in it gets my heart racing. Really? Yeah, so it's something I've always enjoyed. Right. Well, and that, and that says a lot because people would want to know, why this man coming yeah. down here and going into these areas? Like, were well, he looking for money? Like, yeah. like he looking for fame? Yeah. He's a FBI agent. Yeah, all of it's the all, above, right? <laughs> It's all kind of thing, you know? So I, I always know. wanted to know personally. Like, you, if, you have FBI yeah. down here? I don't know. I don't know. Ridiculous. I've heard stupider comments. Uh, but look, this is my living. So yes, I'm doing this for money. Right. Uh, for, I've been on YouTube three years. I haven't had one month that was profitable where mm -hmm. I made more money than I spent. Right. But it's not all in vain. The idea is for this to be my career. 
So okay. I am trying to build an audience. Uh, I am trying to get views of 100%. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's like people think it's an insult to say, Chris, you just want to get views. Yeah. A musician yeah. wants people to listen to their music. And right. a basketball player wants to get points. Right. Right? Like, why do you go to work? Why does yeah. anybody work? Yeah. For money. Right? But, this is but, a job. So what would you say to the people that say, all right, you want to get views. Yes. But you're kind of getting views off of, quote, unquote, black people. Yeah. What, sure. what would you say? It, 100%. Yeah. It's not just black people, though. That, film, right. So I your film content is only I black people. I film in Asian countries. Right. I film in the Middle Eastern countries. Right. I film. So you film all the friendly The whole world. Every country in the world. Right? Yeah. Yes. So, so because you come to Trinidad and you, and you highlight, as I say, a lot of places that people who live in right here, yes. they never even see them places before. Mm -hmm. I watching people reactions to your video and they like, way. What's that gun? Look how big that gun is. Now, I know I always had friends and family and even people who I work with through the music industry. So I was always in these communities. So right. seeing what you was putting out there was nothing new to me. I already knew. But clearly, a lot of people did not know. Yeah. Right? So Can I jump in there for a sec? Yeah. I think that's one of the reasons people get upset at me. Right. Okay, so let, let's just... Let's say this house is beautiful behind us, by the way, but let's just mm -hmm. say it was messy inside. Right. Um, they, they wouldn't want me to take a picture and share it with the world. Mm -hmm. What's happening in Trinidad, it's a beautiful country that deserves peace and, and everything that comes with peace, mm -hmm. tourism, etc. When somebody from outside comes in and takes photos of the dirty kitchen, metaphorically, mm -hmm. people get upset by that. Right. But the reality is, if you don't want me taking pictures of the dirty kitchen, clean it up. Clean your kitchen. Right. Right. So to blame me for the problems happening in Trinidad is ridiculous. Right. I'm a journalist. Mm -hmm. People like to say I'm a YouTuber. I'm a YouTuber, but I'm a journalist. Right. I go to places with problems and I document it. Mm -hmm. But you'll see if you watch my content, I don't just do that. I do other things, too. Right. The truth is the biggest view videos are right. always the ones yeah. where there's danger involved. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Just like just like the Trinidad industry. Yeah. You know, the same thing. We got a lot of backlash because we were putting out these images of places in Trinidad that people never knew, you know, and that is basically all we do, you know, we just put out this image and people were taken aback, yes. you know, there was like KG, all you're promoting negativity, but we wasn't promoting negativity, we were promoting reality, that is exactly what is going on. You're just... But not everybody wants you know, to know that. A lot of people are living a sheltered life. Even they could live two blocks away. Mm -hmm. First, they're embarrassed by it. They don't want to know what's happening. Mm -hmm. They have enough problems in their own life. Yeah. Second, they don't want the world to think of Trinidad as a place of gang war. Right. But Trinidad is a place of gang war right, right. now. Mm -hmm. It is. Now, many beautiful places, beautiful waterfalls and people. Mm -hmm. Even the most dangerous people I've met have been kind to me yeah. in Trinidad. But so, there is definitely a problem. Do you, people, people on the internet been saying things like this white man extorting all you, have yeah. all you looking dumb, da 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 yeah. But one thing I realize is that you never once ever told anyone, show me the guns. No, never. Bring out the guns. You literally go into the communities and you just... I film what I see. You film it's what you see. Yeah. 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 So basically you're just showing the world what is already there. Yeah. No, people are upset that I'm white in doing right. it. It's you once again, the producer of all these music videos mm -hmm. where there's guns being showed. Right. I guarantee not one of them have a, had a negative comment. Mm -hmm. it, it's different because I'm an outsider. It's like I've come into the this is what people's mindset is. I've come into a country only to showcase the bad. What which once again is not it's not my goal, it's not my agenda. Mm -hmm. If I worked with police, as people suggest, I would be very scared for my life. Yeah. I would have come in and I would have left. Yeah. I wouldn't be uploading my content. This is just the most ridiculous thing. Yeah. I've heard because I have tattoos that I look like I'm ex-military. I don't yeah. know how to hold a gun. Mm -hmm. I'm not ex-military. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, you know, it, it's, it's like anything in this world, right? When you create, not everyone's going to enjoy it. Not everyone's going to like you. When you go to other countries like Jamaica and yeah. other countries with similar culture to Trinidad, do you get the same type of backlash? There's a percentage. Mm -hmm. But like, for example, Jamaica, I love the country. You know, most YouTubers will come into a country like 
Trinidad to film two videos and leave and upload the videos after they left out of fear. Right. I don't do that. I upload in real time. Right. I have nothing to be scared of. I haven't done anything wrong. Right. You'll see by the time I leave here, I'll have the biggest selection of videos from Trinidad and Tobago mm -hmm. that has ever been created by a foreigner. Mm -hmm. I'll have 30 to 50 videos. So, you know, the first week I was in Jamaica filming, people treated me the same. Right. But when they realized that, hey, this guy is coming back and again and again and he's doing... Multiple videos. Yeah, yeah. it's not... Man, I, I did a live on my channel three or four days ago where I shared how much money I make. Mm -hmm. If you knew how many hours I put into creating content, whether it be research, filming, editing, publishing, promoting, mm -hmm. a week, it's got to be over 100 hours. Like, there's no right. vacation. Yeah, for real. And, and I showed that last month I made 5,000 Canadian dollars, mm -hmm. which is like 3,000 <laughs> US. Yeah. And somebody said, well, that's still a lot more than somebody in Trinidad. Yeah. Smart guy. Yeah. I got to pay for airplane, Correct. hotel, Correct. food. My Correct. family at home, my wife and kids, yeah. they need to eat as well. Yeah. Right? So for those people that say I'm coming to the country to make money, my suggestion is you should pick up a camera and you should do the same thing. Yeah. Right? Of course I work for money, mm -hmm. but I'm not profitable at the moment. As I continue right. to grow, my channel grows, I will have no problem right now telling you I'm doing this to make a living mm -hmm. for myself and my family in the future. First three years... I haven't even broken even. I've yeah. lost a lot of money. Right. But moving forward, the goal is to be, become profitable. Yeah. 100%. So you're not scared? No, never. Like you come to a place like Trinidad where, I mean, people in this country yeah. killing for less than nothing. I know. You know, and you come in this country and you might step on some toes because some people might not agree with what you're doing. You yeah. don't feel scared in no kind of way. No, no. And I get the threats. Right. You know, I don't talk about it, but I get the Instagram threats. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm going to come kidnap you, I'll kill you. <laughs> right. The real bad men don't talk. They, right. don't, they don't warn you. Yeah, they yeah, just yeah. do it. So I, I just believe in destiny. I'm not a religious man. I'm not going to say I believe in Jesus or mm -hmm. I believe there's a God up there and I believe whatever happens. Look at this, my lucky rabbit. <laughs> whatever happens, happens. Yeah. Yeah, son. Yeah. So, um... I know you've been in far more dangerous countries than Trinidad, for sure. You know, we're not even close. What is the most dangerous country you've ever been to? I like the, the most dangerous situation. Yeah, all was that. Probably the Ukraine war. Ukraine. Or Haiti during the gang war. See, I've been here 14 days now, 15 days. Mm -hmm. I've seen guns, but I haven't been a participant in the shooting. I haven't gone somewhere and seen somebody being shot at. Right. Whereas in Haiti, I did see that, yeah, see that quite often, almost every day I was there. Um, so Haiti was pretty rough. Mm. And again, Ukraine war, uh, you know, hearing the sirens going off mm. and the rockets and yeah, that, that was probably the toughest. <laughs> yeah. Chris Dredd in him. <laughs> Chris Dredd, you created the rockets, the man said. Yeah. Yeah, man. So, um, where next for Christmas? Yeah, I don't even know. Yeah, just I really play it. Like, initially when I came here, the idea was like five to seven days here, then flying to Guyana. Mm -hmm. But I missed that flight because right. I'm still here. Mm -hmm. uh, there's just so much to un uncover. And even filming, people don't put a lot of thought into this. Like, if I go to film two neighborhoods right. and I miss other neighborhoods, they don't like me because of that. Right, yeah, I need yeah. to do a very thorough job. Um, the views are doing well, so keep keep going. Yeah. It's like I'm digging for diamonds, and I found diamonds. Yeah. Uh, I got to keep digging. Yeah. So next could be Jamaica, mm -hmm. could be Guyana, or I might go back to Miami. My car is actually in Miami. Yeah. Um, before Christmas, let's came to Trinidad. There were a few more, you know, vloggers yeah. that was coming through and doing the thing. But for some strange reason, you kind of blow up. In a strange way, what what has set Christmas list apart from the rest? Like, yeah. what is it that the people love so much? Like, he's a celebrity. Yeah. The other day, we know Rima, and it's love. Everybody yeah. see Chris says, Christmas list, Christmas list. And I like, this man is a celebrity. You yeah. understand? So what what about you, the people love I so I think much? uploading in real time. Right. Because these guys, like the, the guy Timmy is uploading content from Trinidad, and now he filmed three months ago. Right. They do it. I'm not speaking on his behalf. I don't know him, but people do that out of fear. Mm. They don't want to upset the wrong person while they're in the country. Mm -hmm. I'm the opposite. Yeah. You know, I like hearing the feedback, whether it be positive or negative, about my content. It helps me become a better journalist. Right. 
Uh, I think that's one. And, and secondly, because I'm uploading videos every day, I think people watch the content for more than entertainment. Mm -hmm. Like I have people that really care. Like they'll mm -hmm. send me a message like, Chris, like you're 10 minutes late with your upload. Like yeah, what's yeah. going on? I can't start my day without it. Right. So I think it's just two different types of viewers. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I like conversate with my viewers. In yeah. the chat, I'm talking to them. I know a lot I'll of their names. Yeah, Most I'll people don't do that stuff. Yeah, they nah, just Chris, upload a video. Chris, let's take it thing real serious. Yeah. I've been around here for a short, a short while and just observing you. Yeah? I could see that now, nah, boy, this, this man is passionate about it's this. It's obsession. It's hyper -obsession. Yeah, like I, I could see it. Yeah. Like he is literally obsessed with this. And when you look at his, his content and the wide scale of what he really does and the amount and the consistency, that is passion. Yeah. You know, so you have to. You can I you couldn't just do this for money. Never. You know, I leave I, my wife. I on your kids. side. I, I on your side. Yeah. From day one. From the time people start to say, I'm to this man, but da, 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 da. I say, what's going on with all you? Yeah. Because he white. I went into your YouTube channel. I see everything that you was doing. So for me to just say you come Trinidad to extort we or that could never be true. The man been doing this, you know? But let me use an example. Let's say yeah. I'm in Hawaii and there's a volcano eruption. Right. And the lava's going. I'm going to go interview the people yeah. that their homes are being destroyed. Right. I'm not going to go to the beach and say how beautiful the palm trees are. Right. I'm going to talk about the story. Mm -hmm. So when I was in South Sudan, the story was cameras are illegal. Yeah. So all my videos are about I'm not yeah. allowed to film here. Yeah. So because the war is happening in Trinidad, that is the number one issue with Trinidad. Yeah. And off camera... Yeah. You was telling me something about you went to some country and because of your video, yes. the government... Change made it. Yeah. Belize. Yeah. Talk about that? Yeah, well, I went to my very first day in Belize. So I've been back since then. Mm -hmm. I'm loved in Belize, man. Yeah. Belize, anybody yeah. watching from Belize, is, <laughs> it's all love in Belize. But yeah. uh, it's very similar. When I walk down the street, everybody knows me. Yeah. Uh, and the very first day I came into the country, I just wandered around and I went to a place. Um, my God, I can't even think of the name right now. But it's a swamp area right. for squatters. Hmm. Horrible, I can't remember the name. Uh, so basically it's a swamp. People go and build houses out of whatever they can find on stilts. Right. Because when the water rises, it rises. So my title of my video is The Swamp People of Bleak City. Mm -hmm. Oh, I pissed a lot of people off. The swamp people. Yeah. yeah. Like, how dare you call us swamp people? Mm -hmm. 600,000 people watched it. And there's like under 350,000 people in all of Belize. Mm -hmm. So double the population watches. Right. They hated me for a while. Yeah. Like, how dare you call us swamp people? Yeah. And when, w the idea with the title is to get people to watch. They are living in the swamp, so yeah. they're swamp people. Swamp people, yeah. Um, as I continue to go on and shoot 30, 50 videos like I'm doing here, mm -hmm. people are like, wow, this guy doesn't have bad intentions. Yeah. Uh, so when I came back six months later to revisit that family, I was amazed to see that they no longer had to walk on these broken crates, mm -hmm. uh, skids. I don't know if yeah. you guys call it skids here, like wood that they had in the swamp right. that you'd have to balance yourself to get to the house. Mm. The government came in and put in a proper street right. with asphalt, mm -hmm. constructed the street. And instead of these people being squatters, which they have been for decades, the government gave them all land there. Said, look, this is now your land. Right. So, which is incredible. So they got yeah. proper electricity to the home. And a few of the people that I featured in the video were gifted free homes, right. not just the property. Yeah. Uh, some of the children, I paid for their school education, uh, which school cost money in Belize. Uh, so me doing a video which could have upset some people made the change in those people's lives because the government saw it and instead of avoiding yeah. the problem, they're like, hey, there's a problem here. Yeah. So maybe with the government here, if I come back in six months, yeah. there's no way the, the, the whole problem is going to be solved. Yeah. But maybe there's a solution to some of the problems. Yeah, somebody might make a move because now people are getting to see it firsthand. Yeah. You know? And when, you, when I take pictures of a dirty kitchen, mm -hmm. that kitchen normally gets cleaned right yeah. away. No lie. Right? So. Yeah, no lie. Um, so before we wrap up, what is your most viewed video on your YouTube channel? Afghanistan. Afghanistan. The gun market, outdoor gun market. Gun market. Af Afghanistan. I think I was the first one to film it. The day I filmed it, I wasn't feeling good. I was mm -hmm. just getting off some food poisoning. But I went out there and I'm like, let me shoot a quick video. And for me, a quick video is walking for like eight hours. I think it's like a 25 minute video and 10 million people have, have watched the video. 10 million. Yeah. And this was the Afghanistan gun market. Yeah. What, it's like they're making guns there or something? No, selling guns. Selling guns. But for yeah. as cheap as like, you could buy a gun for like $12 US. And, you know, when I went to film that, 
I had no idea it was going to get 10 million views, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. So the feedback now is like, now that I got 10 million, yeah. people thought I made like millions of dollars from this. <laughs> Delusional people. Yeah. Uh, but they're like, why didn't you pay this guy? Why didn't you pay the guy for talking to you? Why didn't... Like, people don't understand the behind the scenes. Yeah. You know when I go to a place like Afghanistan, Pakistan, I might buy somebody lunch to talk on camera? Yeah, These yeah. are proud men. They're not beggars on the street. Yeah, yeah. They'll say, no way. I don't yeah. want your food. I'll cook for you. Mm -hmm. do, you do you understand? Yeah, yeah. Their, their hands are not out. A yeah. comment I got when I was just sitting here while we were preparing, somebody's like, I hope you're paying all these people in the hood. Yeah, First yeah. of all, if a video does exceptionally well, I make $500 US. Mm -hmm not including the hotel the airplane yeah how much money do you think i have to be walking around giving everybody yeah. well, where do you think this money comes from yeah um but that's been my best my best video and it it was monetized for a little bit but because there was guns uh oh. youtube ended up taking the commercials off so 10 million views i might have got paid for like 2 million views out of the 10 yeah right. um so i mean that made me maybe ten thousand dollars let's yeah. use an example ten thousand yeah. yeah. but then the cost to get to afghanistan and the time correct, away from correct. family Investment. It's not profitable. Yeah. Long term investment. It's like me selling you these glasses yeah. for ten dollars and they cost me a hundred dollars to make. Yeah. Right? I'm not profiting from it. People yeah. have to understand the difference. Yeah, no lie. All right, so before we go, yes. The only thing you wanna tell the Trinidad people, you know, the yeah. especially the ones who who, who not agreeing with what you're doing. You know, yeah. just leave a message for them. For sure. Yeah. You know, I'm not gonna please everyone. I understand that. I'm okay with that. That's life. Um, I came here with no ill intention. Uh, I love the country, or I wouldn't be here. Uh, there are enough stories here that I could, I could spend the rest of my life times 10 just documenting the stories. Uh, give me a chance with an open mind. Watch my content. Watch more than my gang content. Mm -hmm. uh, and if you're upset that I'm so-called here making money, then I really suggest you pick up a camera uh, and do it yourself. Laziness doesn't pay the bills, <laughs> right? And, no, and, and when you go to work every day, if you go to work, uh, you're also going to work to make money. Mm -hmm. Right? And, and I'm not doing any different. This is my job. Correct. Not a vacation by any yeah, stretch of the imagination. Right now, I do a podcast. Yeah. I try to make some money. Yeah. I why, to well, at what you. point in our life were we embarrassed to work? Like, why would I be ashamed of going to work? So when somebody insults me, it's like, you're just doing this to make money. Yeah. Ding, ding, ding. Yeah. That's why you work as well. That's why everybody works. Yeah. Yeah, big up yourself in a Christmas. Yeah, man, I appreciate your time and, and the opportunity. Keep doing your thing and keep pushing the keep pushing the good content, man. Yes, you know, you don't know. Boom.